Hi everyone, so Sedona Lace has been kind enough to offer me a sponsorship and showcase uh, and review some of their brushes and um, I had said yes some time ago. Some of you guys already know that I have already reviewed the angled um, powder brush number 602 and the round top powder brush number 480 which are great. I'll be happy to link um, the original uh, review that I did here on YouTube in the bottom bar if you'd like to check it out with just those two brushes. But this time around I'm going to be reviewing the full set as a whole. The Dona Lace Midnight Set is a four piece set that's just very sophisticated, well crafted pink bristles with like a burgundy purple top, sturdy silver ferrules, and there is a little bit of weight to the black handle and of course it has the lovely rainbow lettering. The weight on these is just a little bit more than the Sigma brushes, but I do like um, the weight. It's very sophisticated and solid and luxurious feeling. Brushes are designed for advanced makeup application due to some of the cuts of the brushes, like the angled brush, although I do believe that this brush in particular would be very easy for application. Um, the round top is super easy for kind of buffing in your powder, um, a little more advanced if you're going to try to contour with it. And then there's this, I just wanted to show you what one looks like inside the packaging it comes in. It will come with a brush guard like this, which I don't always end up keeping, but basically it just has plastic and then you can slide the brush guard on and off. What I like about the flat top kabukis is you can actually use them for cream blush. You could also use them for stippling in products. The good thing about synthetic brushes, as in as a general rule, is that they're antibacterial um, and they do absorb a lot less product. So you're not going to be wasting as much product um, as you would with an animal hair brush. That those just naturally soak up a lot of your product. In comparison, there are variations of these flat top kabukis floating around in different brands. So here is the Sedona, and here is the Sigma. I still really love my Sigma. I'm just showing you the density. So here it is, like that. And then here's the density of the Sigma. A lot of people find the Sigma one is a little difficult to clean. So what I like about the 928 is it's not as packed and it's very gentle and soft. So it's gonna be easier to rinse your product out and it dries pretty fast. Shorter tools and brush heads do offer you a ton more control than products that have really long hairs because they get right up close to your face. But if you're a working professional, don't even worry about that. You still have enough width between you and the client. And if you know what you're doing and you've got a steady hand at your motions, your client's going to feel more comfortable in the end. People love the Sedona Lace Midnight Brushes because of the color and the femininity and the built-in ID. When you go on makeup jobs or even if you work or live with other girls, it's going to be super easy and super pleasant to sort of have your own ID within your brushes. If you have uh, colored brushes like, for instance, not everyone's going to be carrying these around, not everyone's going to be carrying um, pink ones around. So it's original, it's feminine, and the price cannot be beat on the Sedona Lace brushes. For the full set, once again, it's just a mere $49.95. What these are labeled as is I know a lot of people are going to say, oh well, it's synthetic, use it for cream liquid, or oh that brush says it's powder, so I don't need a brush like that for powder, I've got enough powder brushes. The beauty of synthetic brushes is that um, they're multi-purposeful, so if you want to use it for cream liquid, do that. If you want to use it for powder, go ahead and do that. This would also work as a highlighter even though I know it's your traditional kabuki and so on and so forth. I've used these round top powder brushes for liquid foundation and you get the most amazing coverage and buffing action. So aside from them being antibacterial, cruelty free, and vegan, you're also getting a very full range of multi-purposeful brushes. There really is no shedding on synthetic brushes. I will never go back to using um, regular haired brushes for any reason or any change in my life just because I don't see the need to. Aside from the price point and the other advantages I've already mentioned, the lack of shedding with these, the fact that these just don't smell, they're beautiful and they're inexpensive, they just feel better on the face. Overall, synthetic brushes are the ways to go. I've really never been disappointed with a synthetic brush and as all of you guys know I've tried a wide range of synthetic vegan brushes and I just think that they're the bee's knees. You just really 
um, have to give them a try even if you're not interested in going cruelty freaks there's just so many more benefits aside from the fact that you are not harboring bacteria in your brushes you're less likely to break out obviously if that's also a case but on a side note even though you are less likely to break out from um, a brush that does not harbor bacteria I would still very much recommend washing these every day um, I don't use baby soap to clean my brushes. Uh, to get out oils, use an oil to break down the oil, like olive oil. I like seventh generation soap because it's clean and, it'll, and it's not going to harm the um, environment, if at all, um, compared to some um, baby shampoos that are filled with sulfates. Um, and keep in mind, though, that even though these are synthetic, or even if you are cleaning natural hair brushes, it's going to react the same way that the hair on your head does, maybe even worse, because you can't replenish the hair that are in these brushes, but the hair on your head will grow back. So just keep in mind that these will react to whatever products you wash them with the same way a head of hair will. I hope to review more Sedona Lace products in the future. I absolutely love these. Once again, these were sent to me, and I am sponsored by Sedona Lace. Um, however, I would not review something on my channel that I do not swear by. is not cruelty-free, doesn't work beautifully, um, um, is not an obtainable product. So, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed my review. Um, I don't think you'll be sorry picking these up whatsoever. I think you'll really enjoy them. So thank you so much for watching.